Gather the shirt and the tie of your choice. Place the tie around your neck with a white end on the right side and a shorter end on the left side. Cross the white end over to the left side, creating an X shape. Then take the white end and go around the back of the narrow end. Bring it back up to the front, inserted the white end underneath the loop of the narrow end. Next, you will slip the white end downward, pulling the tie into the loop. Hold the resulting knot in one hand, and place the other hand underneath the knot. Pass the white end over the top of the knot, from right to left. Then, hold the narrow end in one hand and the white end in the other. Next, pass the white end up through the loop until it completely passes through. Pass the white end over the narrow end, bringing it down towards the shirt. Pass the white end underneath the knot once again on the left side. Insert the white end through the loop from the right side, and gently but firmly pull it all the way through. Then, you should have a reconstructed X at the base of the neck. Insert the white end over to the right side and let it hang down, then grab the small end. Shorten the narrow end until the small end forms the desired length. Slide the knot up until it nestles around the neck, tightening as you go. Tuck the narrow end underneath the knot of the white end from right to left. Pass the narrow end over to the right, under the collar of the shirt and up through the back loop. Lastly, slip the narrow end behind the white end from the right and tighten gently but firmly. The Windsor knot has been completed. Arrange the knot to the desired shape and smooth any wrinkles for a refined look. Lay the shirt down flat and grab the two ends of the tie. Cross the white end over the narrow end, and lay the white end around the midpoint of the narrow end. Take the white end and pass it up over the narrow end, left to right. Then, pass the white end down behind the narrow end. Take the white end and pass it across the middle of the tie, forming an X shape. 